This is Jolie here, four seconds out with the quote. I'm not even going to intro you. Everyone knows who you are. Everyone's seen who you are before they clicked on the video. There's no point. Um, obviously, you've been over here in the UK. You know how much support there is already by now. And we just spoke about, obviously, in Cardiff, um, which is uh, over in Wales, still in the UK. Um, you got great support there as well. Just how good has it been to fight professionally here? Uh, it was great being able to fight in Cardiff. I mean... The fans were insane. They were insane before the fight, after the fight, press conference, and even at the open workout. It was so great to experience the fans, and I can't wait to come back and do it again. What were you expecting before coming to the UK? Obviously, you've been here before with the Olympics. Everyone knows that now. But did you expect to have as much support and being stopped on the street, that sort of thing? Well, I had expected to have a whole bunch of fans, but not to be like stopped on the street and Uber drivers recognizing me. And even before I got to Cardiff, I was here in London and I was going like to go, you know, shopping and go and get food. And they were just like, oh, my God, like Clarissa, the quote. And I'm like, oh, OK, he know me. <laughs> I didn't expect that part. So, um yeah, obviously we're here today at Channel 4 um, in Central London for your PFL, all well, the Channel 4 and PFL signing, which obviously you're heavily involved with now. Just talk to us first of all about when you next want to fight with the PFL. I spoke to you at the press conference and you said, obviously, the fight with Clarish, uh, with Savannah Marshall has to happen first or uh, perhaps a warm-up and then Savannah and then you'll fight PFL at the end of the year or 2023. Is that kind of the aim for you? Um, I'm going to fight PFL at the end of the year, like November August somewhere in there or I mean November September I think but um what was the question so when do you plan on fighting oh, with the PFL because you've got a big a super fight lined up obviously everyone knows with Savannah Marshall well I don't have a super fight lined up with Savannah Marshall she hasn't won yet <laughs> March part of the contract March 12 if she don't win we dang near don't fight and it's like a setback to our fight and she has to go back and get her title and all this other kind of stuff so uh, right now, that's who everybody is. That's a potential fight that can happen. That's a fight that we want to happen. I did my job February 5th. She has to do her job March 12th. But um, as far as in that, um, I'll be fighting her. And then after that, all my time will be going to the PFL till, till next year. What So as of right now, not literally right now, because I'm sure you'll have some time off. Um, what are you going to try when you next go into a gym? Is it going to be boxing? What, what am I going to train next time I go to the gym? Boxing. I train them completely two different times. Um, I still do jujitsu sometimes, like on the side, just to get that. I want to get like the different color belts and stuff like that. But um, mainly just boxing. So when it's time for a boxing match, I spend all that time boxing training. And when it's time for MMA fights, I spend all that time MMA training. So I go weeks and weeks and months and months without doing strictly boxing. And I go months and months without doing strictly MMA. Do you feel like you got the credit you deserve, obviously, fighting in PFL, beating a veteran in your first fight and then a close fight in your second fight? How much do you feel people actually understand and respect what you're doing? I'm highly respected. The MMA fans love it. They were like, oh, my God, we didn't think that this was possible. Boxers always talking to talk and never walking to walk to, to, to MMA fighters. And then here I am in the prime of my career with all the titles and regarded as the greatest woman of all time in boxing. And I went over there to the PFL and I'm fighting the MMA rules under their rules. Like, no stipulation. Like, oh, it's not not in my contract. Like, oh, they can't go for arm bars. They can't, you know, kick me. They can't go for takedowns. It's like, look, this is pure MMA rules. And this is the rules of the PFL and as the MMA fighter. So I go in there and I'm, and I'm able to compete. And they really respect it. Like, how my first fight, I went from being on my back for 10 minutes and, and unable to get up. To my second fight, to being taken down, to being able to get up, to being able to fight out those clinches, to land the punches and land the kicks. I think the fans have really enjoyed um, seeing me grow in MMA, even though it's been like a quick journey. Yeah, definitely. Um, is Holly Holm one of your big inspirations? Because we haven't really seen anyone do this before. Obviously, she was a world champion boxing and then went over to MMA, um, became a champion in the UFC. Is that someone you looked up to? I know, obviously, Amanda Nunes, that kind of fight looming, not necessarily anytime soon but that was one of the reasons you said why you went over to MMA is Holly Holm an inspiration for you as well Holly Holm is a huge inspiration you know she's the cheat code she actually went from boxing to MMA and became you know a UFC champion so when I'm training me and her we laugh about how she thought at the beginning of her MMA career to how I think about the beginning of mine like and we laugh because one of the conversations we had I'm like you know sometime 
in the cage during sparring. I just forget that I have legs. And she just was like, oh, my God, same thing, because we're so used to doing everything with our hands. But MMA is so so much full body, especially when it comes to the clinches and the wrestling and having to get up off the ground, you know, from the cage. So um, I just told her, like, sometimes I forget that I have legs. And she was like, that used to happen to me all the time. And so she gives me advice on how I can um, remember that I have legs and just remember to, like, use your whole body and, you know, use use everything you have and everything like that. So it's been great to work with her. Do you kind of expect to reach similar heights, obviously, in, in five years' time or something like that as, as Holly has? If I want to do MMA for that long, you know, I, I, I'm right now. I'm just giving it like I like to do like short, short term goals for myself. And the short term goal right now, well, long term really is to be PFL champion in 2023. I don't know if I'll go for it. Um, I, I already don't know after that. It's like, will I put in five? If I, if I was to train five years in MMA, I would, I could 100% be, uh, MMA world champion, 100%. Um, right now, what I'm doing, I'm just trying to do it in fast time and do something that's super, ex- super extraordinary right now. But I believe that it's possible. And obviously, this weekend, you've had a fight against Omekosin in Cardiff, as we spoke about. Just reflections on the fight. Obviously, you were happy. It was a shout-out performance. Yeah, I beat her up. I beat her up to the head, beat her up to the body. Um, had her corner concerned about her. The doctors were checking on her. And hey, I got the unanimous decision and I went home. Um, Savannah Marshall obviously ringside um, she was like pretending to fall asleep and stuff did you see that how do you react to that I don't care about none that Savannah Marshall do she want to be like me so bad she want my chain you know what I mean she want my teeth you know she want my clothes she want my jacket like I I really just hate Savannah Marshall she's a weirdo how did you feel afterwards as well when there was that back and forth just outside the ring I scared the shit out of her sorry but no like um I knew that it was coming, you know what I'm saying? But I think us as fighters have, like, a little bit more respect. But it's like, um, I don't know if she's trying to sell the fight, she's trying to build her confidence, if she just wants the clout, I don't know. But she's in for the world heat of trouble. And I think that her seeing me fight, um, her trying to fake like she's falling asleep, like, that was just her showing, like, she's she's really intimidated. She's very scared because I've never went to a Savannah Marshall fight. And guess what? I'm not going to one. <laughs> you won't be there March 12th? No, I won't. My birthday's March 17th. I wouldn't dare mess up my birthday vacation to watch that trash. <laughs> so. um, last topic, just on, obviously, Amanda Serrano, Katie Taylor's happening. You spoke to Danny on Seconds Out recently about that. Just want to speak about Jake Paul and him being the co-promoter. What do you think of that? And, and do you think it helps boxing? It's helping their situation. It's helping them. And, 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 you know, they are trailblazers like myself in women's boxing. So the higher that they're held, the higher I'll be held. So, you know, congrats to them. Congrats to uh, to Amanda with signing with Jake and, you know, taking that route. It's, hey, it's all it's all good. It's all good. And obviously Eddie Hearn's promoting that as well. What's your relationship like with him at the moment? Is it, I know there's obviously back and forth last year and you don't necessarily get on. Are you still not the best of friends? Who? Eddie Hearn. I didn't ever know me and Eddie Hearn wasn't friends. We still, he still inboxed me on Twitter and stuff. I ain't know, I ain't know. I was just referring to like the Twitter spot last year. I mean, so he started riding the Savannah Marshall train, but face to face with me, he wasn't riding her train. Um, it's no big deal to me. I just like people to be honest and pick a side and stay there. And it was like he's kind of going back and forth. But I don't have no beef with Eddie Hearn. I think we'll probably do business in the future together because I have at least 10 more years in boxing. So I'm quite sure I'll run into him and we'll do business with him. But I'll be able to prove to everybody this year that everybody who thought Savannah Marshall was a, was a great fighter and she was the one to beat me. When I beat her, everybody will come back jumping on a goat train. And I guess I'll make room for him. <laughs> well, I appreciate your time. Best of luck with the PFL and boxing this year. And uh, yeah, thank you very much.